Good morning, guys. So it is, what's today? Thursday? Today's Thursday. That's the thing when you work for yourself. You just like kind of forget what day it is all the time. Um, it's Thursday. I'm gonna have to make that. I'm gonna have to cut in front of this guy. Um, so I'm on my way to the orthodontist. My God, I'm getting hit so hard this month. I hate the beginning of the month because like everything is due like all the bills are due and I'm like oh my god car payment rent payment um, My workout my trainer thing and then I'm like Then on top of that I got a retainer because my sh my teeth are kind of shifting and my parents paid all this money for me to have braces and My like I don't want them to move like this was I had braces like five or six years ago No, actually wow I feel really old. I had braces like 12 years ago, 12 or 13 years ago. And ever since I had braces, like I never really kept up with my retainer and I'm noticing like a slight shift on my top teeth. And obviously I don't want that money that my parents spent to be completely wasted. So um, like a few weeks ago, I made an appointment at the orthodontist and I got, um, and I got like a mold done for retainers and my retainers are now ready. So I have to finish paying that off, which I didn't even know retainers were that expensive. Like, wow, dental stuff like that is expensive. I'm like, oh my God, if I want four kids. So I'm like, if I have four kids, uh, that's a lot of dental expenses. But anyway, um, so I'm going to pick that up. And then it just reminded me because I have to find a new dentist because my dad, yeah, my dad is a character. He's gotten us kicked out of so many things, honestly. He got us kicked out we used to have a shell gas card and he got us kicked out of our shell gas card. I remember this very clearly because it was in high school and I went to go put gas and then all of a sudden the gas card didn't work and mind you, I was like 16 and I was like, oh my God, what do I do now? And the guy at the pump actually gave me the gas for free so that was really nice. But um, so just like with the gas card, he got into an argument with the dentist assistant and it was like a huge blowout fight. They actually, it was ridiculous, honestly. They called him incompetent. Like they called my dad, the paying customer that has, we've been at that dentist. Well, we were at that dentist for like, since pretty much I was born because it was one of my dad's best friends and he just sold his practice to a new dentist. And the new dentist um, like brought in all new people. So it's nobody that we've ever dealt with and the lady in the front is really rude. Like I will say that. The last few times that I've been, I've been like, my God, this lady is rude as hell. So she called my dad incompetent. She basically called my dad stupid. And my dad was like, okay, fine, fine. Uh, give me all of our, give me, she, he goes, give me all of my dental history. And then she goes, okay, and do you want your families? And my dad was like, you think my family's still gonna go there? <laughs> so I have to find a new dentist. Uh, yeah. So, which is okay because Eddie's, so Eddie's dad's brother-in-law, which is his stepmom's brother, um, who for all intents and purposes, like when I referred to my mother-in-law, that's who I'm referring to, she, um, her brother is a dentist. And the only reason we hadn't like switched over to him, or at least the only reason I hadn't switched over and my family hadn't switched over is because um, like it was obviously my dad's best friend and we had been going there since we were born, but then he sold the practice. So I think I'm gonna just start going to him that's she's like just go to him like why are you even going out already so I'm just gonna start going to him so that's not that big of a deal but anyway so I'm going to pick up my retainer that's how we got into that which is a good customer service lesson because honestly if that lady wouldn't have escalated it to that level like no matter how ignorant or incompetent for that matter I think a customer is being I never tell them anything like I just let them say what they have to say and then which is extremely difficult honestly sitting there and just like taking it because you're literally like taking a verbal beating is what you're doing and for some people they just can't handle that and they counteract but then it's like hello that's the customer so um i think it's a good lesson like when my dad told me that i was like that's a great lesson like that lady if she wouldn't have escalated it to that level and just maybe not even she didn't even have to like agree with what he was saying which he was in the right um, But she could have just been like, okay, sir. I'm so sorry about this Let me see how we can make this right and then so this is like the manager of the office that did all this and said all this to my dad so then 
the dentist, like the actual dentist, like the owner of the business called my dad because obviously like, hello, my dad, like we, we are a family of five and we've been going there for years and all of a sudden all these files are being pulled. So she called my dad and was like, how can we make this right? Like, I'm so sorry. Like she was really nice. And my dad was like, look, I'm sorry. I really appreciate your call, but nothing can make this right. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much that. So I thought it was a good customer service lesson. So pretty much my day, what my day looks like today. Oh my gosh, you guys, I got a new logo for, because I'm working on changing all the names for, for my business, like which I currently have my Instagram page under Thrifted Fashion Finds, which doesn't match what I'm doing. So I'm changing all the names on everything, on social media, on, I'm actually, my website is almost done. I've made it myself and it's almost done. I'm just, honestly, the reason it's not up yet is because like I get so nervous. I'm so nervous, honestly, but I just need to do it. So, and the main thing I'm nervous about is changing my Instagram name. That's the thing that I'm like, oh my God, I'm so nervous to do that, to change my Instagram. So like the name from Thrifted Fashion Finds to like the new name. So as soon as the logo and all that work is done, I am gonna change it. So I found this lady on Instagram because Instagram is the best place, honestly, when you're looking for a service, in my opinion. And I found this lady who is actually in the UK. So she PayPal'd me and sent me an invoice for the service, which was so reasonable. I will, as soon as I like show all the logo and everything, and as soon as we're done working together, I will leave her information down below because she created exactly what I wanted the first time. Like she didn't have to make any changes, nothing like that. So I was in shock and she is so sweet um, and I really love her work. So I've been using her and it was so cheap. Oh my gosh, I was in shock with how cheap the service was. Because usually when you get a logo designed and all that, it's super expensive. So I spent, I think it was $90. Yeah, $90, it may have been a little less after the conversion, but I spent $90 and she designed my logo. She's doing my thank you cards and stickers. So she's doing those three things for $90, which is crazy to me because in the past, just for thank you cards, I've paid like not in physical card just the service of like designing the look on the card I've literally paid like $400 or $300 for the hourly rate but this lady no is so reasonable so affordable and I really like her work so as soon as everything is done and as soon as my logo is done I will share it and I will recommend you guys to her because I really like her work she was really fast and it was really easy, smooth working with her. So I'm really excited about that. So that is finishing up. It should be finished up today. I don't really know what time it is in the UK. So maybe even tomorrow or tonight. I don't really know the time difference there. But that's going on. Then I'm finishing up my website, which is really cool. I'm definitely gonna show you guys all of that when that's done. Then, what else? So today I have to go pick up my packages. My the packages that I ordered yesterday that I never got around to picking up yesterday. So I have to go pick those up and then I am going to a thrift store. So those are the two things that I'm doing today, the two main things I'm doing at least. I have some orders I have to get shipped out. And then I don't, I think I'm having an Instagram sale tonight. I'm not really too sure. But it's a very uh, nonchalant day, if you will. It's a very casual day nothing too crazy going on but you never know when you get to the thrift store maybe something crazy does happen so just like when I found those Lula Row dresses which was like that never happens to me so that's pretty much it um, and by the way guys I'm hand hands free on the camera I have both my hands on the wheel and yeah so I really like this new method of talking it's fantastic <clears throat> and then I'm also working on, I'm just like throwing a bunch of stuff out at you guys. Sorry, that's how my vlogs are. I know they're all over the place. Um, but thank you guys for those of you that like watching them. So <clears throat> I'm working on branding, which I think branding is so, so, so important. I can't even stress to you guys how important branding is. So I'm working on branding. Um, and it feels weird doing all this because I've done it once before with Love Always. I had to brand everything. I got stickers, 
I have the little cards that go in the packages, the little boxes, like all that good stuff I've done already before for another business. So I, it feels so like, I don't know what like the word is for it, but it feels like, like I'm reminiscing on what I did like five years ago. So that's really cool. Actually, another fun fact, the anniversary of my company, Love Always is coming up and it is six years, you guys. Six years is what the anniversary is approaching. So I've almost been a full-time online e-commerce person for six years. How exciting, I can't believe this. Um, so that's coming up, I'm really excited about that. It makes me kind of emotional to think that everything I've done started like based off that. So that's coming up and like I said, I'm working on the branding so I'm definitely taking you guys on that journey. I haven't really done anything too crazy. The only thing that I have done is get the logo and the thank you cards and stickers designed. So she's working on that and as soon as all that is done, I will make a video about it like you know I'll obviously show it in a vlog I don't want to do it before because like what if something happens and like what if something happened and I wasn't happy with her work and then I recommended her to a bunch of people you know like that wouldn't be good so that is what's going on so I am doing all that it's really fun I love branding so I really want because people are spending this isn't this is so different like it's the same as love always but it's so different than love always at the same time oh actually i have a big package coming in i'll get that shipping done tomorrow um because i'm already on time so i'll get that done tomorrow um but it's such a big difference because people like obviously yes the monogram necklaces are 220 dollars. i even have some people that buy solid gold necklaces that are like can be up to two thousand dollars so yes it is expensive and i make sure when somebody is spending you know because my packaging is really cute for the just the regular orders but when somebody is spending like over a thousand dollars on a piece of jewelry for solid gold i make sure that the case is like a the case is like a hard case it's not like a soft case it's not you know like i go the extra mile like the cleaning cloth branding all that stuff i go the extra mile for things like that so with the, the designer stuff people are spending a lot of money on these items and my profit margin is so great that i want to make people know that they're valued and i want the packaging to be really nice so i am actually doing even more than i have done in the past with love always on these packages because this is this is you know luxury items and i want people even though they're not buying them new in store i want people to still know that they are getting a luxury service and that i am providing a luxury service so branding is the best way you can do that and also by customer service obviously and that's what i'm trying to do that is that's my goal with that because if people feel like they're truly truly having a luxury experience like they would in a store or better then in a the store, they're gonna continue coming back to me. So I am making sure that everything is gonna be top notch for all of that stuff. Um, that's what I'm pretty much doing. So I really think it's important and I'm excited to be, that I'm going to be showing all this on camera and like going through it with you guys. So then that way it helps people feel that way. Cause even if you just have, even if you have an eBay store, like I think that the branding is so important when it comes to that also. So I am also gonna be working on the eBay branding. Nothing as, as crazy as what I'm doing with this business, but still I am gonna be working on um, having little cards to put inside orders and like different little things like that that can really make an order really nice. So I think it's important that we all do that because really, online is the future and people are going to continue going back to you if they have a positive experience and one of the positive experiences is when you when you get something in the mail and it's a happy experience so definitely that's exciting so i just got here to my orthodontist i pretty much talked to you guys the entire way from my house to the orthodontist i'm five minutes late which is so embarrassing because i canceled my appointment like three other times they're gonna like leave me as a client. They're gonna be like, we don't need your service, you suck. <laughs> How do I look, guys? <laughs> oh gosh. 
the iron retainers. I can't even talk with these on. But I just paid $900 for these retainers. You better believe I am wearing them however they told me to wear them. Because I'm gonna see results. Look, isn't that funny? I'm gonna see results. I can't pronounce that. But yeah, uh, she said for the first week to wear them full time, and then um, then I can take them off. So yeah, hey guys, hi, I'm in high school. This is a bummer. This is so pretty. Look how pretty this is. Look how stunning. This is a good brand. You guys come across it. This is a bummer. So bummer. Good brand. Stained everywhere. Some good one. More designer stuff. Damaged. This one was really cute. So we are right. Well, not we. I am right by Eddie's office. Um, I've never been here. This is so freaking nice. I think this is called Doral City Place. Um I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it is Terrell City Place. This is so cute, you guys. I don't even know where the restaurant is. I don't know. Oh, maybe we should eat somewhere else. This is adorable. Hey, babe. Babe. Hey, babe. I think I'm here. Is is this Terrell City Place? What? Is this Terrell City Place? I think it's the Rao City place. Oh it's my like god, a, this like, is so cute. It's like a hip little place. It looks really cool. Yeah, I'm obsessed. There's so many good restaurants here. Yeah, yeah. There's like one sushi place. If you look in front of a sushi place, there's like these big chopsticks, chopsticks or whatever. Do you want to eat somewhere else? No, not really. Why? I don't know. There looks like there. Is this where the place Boca's is? Oh, maybe. I don't know. I don't, are you, did you leave already? Yeah, I'm getting my truck. Oh my god, I left so fast because you told me you were going to be done. Yeah, but you got there really fast, wasn't it? It I leave my was like, not that many exits. <laughs> Where is this place by though? I don't, I don't see Jardine's. There's a Las Vegas. <laughs> Las Vegas? Yeah. Oh, I think you went the wrong way. This restaurant is super cool. It's really nice. It's really cool. It's really cool. We had uh, like pizza or something. It was cool though. It wasn't like how it normally is. Eddie got a poke bowl and then it comes with some sides. I got chicken. This looks so good. Oh my goodness. So I'm gonna post something on Instagram for sale. <laughs> Remember guys, I always do it so that the image that I'm getting first is gonna leave like a pretty like thumbnail so that on my page it looks cohesive and it matches. And then on top of that, I just stick with the same theme so like everything looks the same. Like when I do a sale, this is the background, this is what I use for the bottom, and then when I change it, I will make sure to change it for all of them. All right, guys, so here's the next item I'm going to be posting, which is this Gucci bag. Got to start over. Take two. It's 
really annoying when you get like a dog in the background because what if you know it's just annoying all right guys so here is the second item i have for sale today and it's this gorgeous gucci crossbody it's a vintage bag and it's in very good condition so here are the edges i love the detail on this with like the little gold stud Fine. The strap is in very good condition, which is honestly one of the most important parts because if the strap is in good condition, the bag will last for a long time. So here you have it. It is adjustable. Here's the back. I remember you could pause and then re-record, so don't feel pressured to like all at once, you know what I mean? Here is the inside, which the inside does have some peeling on the fabric, but this does not affect the wear at all of the bag. This is just an aesthetic thing because it's not sticky. It is not anything. It's perfectly functional. Here's the serial number. Love how the vintage Gucci bags have that. So when you're like, for example, I was saying something kind of negative. I was saying that the inside of the bag is peeled, but obviously it is functional. It's not sticky, nothing like that. Here, show what the inside looks like. So it may not be like the most aesthetically pleasing thing for the eye, but there's nothing wrong with it. Like it's not sticky. You can use it. It's not like a Louis Vuitton piece. So I, I make sure I stress that because people may get turned off. Like that's why I like doing the videos because if I didn't say that, people may get turned off when they see that picture of the inside. And then on top of that, if you guys notice, I like kind of countered it with something positive. I was like, oh, I love how, like I said that, and then I countered it with something positive, talking about the little gold emblem that says Gucci on the inside. So I think it's important when you're saying something that may not be portrayed as such a negative, as such a positive, to then counter it with something positive. And now I'm just going to list All right, it. Guys. So this is what I mean, like the thumbnail watch. Oh, I just shared it on accident. I'll just write the thumbnail on the top. I'll just write the thing on the top. So I'm going to show you guys. So you see how... You don't have to hold your phone up. Oh, you're using bin? So, like you guys see, like everything is aesthetically pleasing to the eye that's on my page. Because everything either has the marble background or it has like this white fluffy... I don't just like post things to post things. You know what I mean? And then of course I posted some hurricane things. But other than that everything matches like it has the same theme so i think that's really important um okay so you see what i'm talking about how this looks that way that's i make sure that in the beginning i'm posing it so that it can come out that way and it can look nice and it looks positioned so when people come to my instagram they want to click the video or when people see it on the explorer page they also want to click the video so now i just have to do the i didn't put the description and then I always start my post with for sale with the matching little heart and then I write it as sold when it sells. I got clear. And then I put my hashtags, and then I'm done. There, and it looks so pretty. Beautiful. Look at that. I might buy myself a purse. <laughs> you should. Okay, that's it. Go. I swear, Rex is like my spirit animal. Okay, guys. So I'm literally not kidding. I posted this four minutes ago. You could see it at the bottom. Do you see where it says four minutes? Yeah, but it, was, it really wasn't four minutes ago. Five minutes ago. It says no, four minutes ago. No, I think it was really like two minutes. No, it was four minutes. It says it. Four minutes. So, guys, I'm literally not kidding. It already sold. In four minutes, it sold. <laughs> that was quick. That was quick. This one I'm having trouble selling. This one's like in really bad condition. <clears throat> I thought I was going to be like a magician or something. And it's just like awful. I'll take a look at it. But I'm selling it for a really cheap price. Like, I just want to get rid of it. 
Yeah, the person just sent me their email, so it's confirmed she just bought it. Okay. Yeah, okay. He's my spirit animal. Look at how he just like. Watch how jealous. Watch. You guys watch. No, look, watch, watch, watch. No, 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 he's not doing it. Boca, come. Such a little asshole. Huh, but I got that on camera. I don't care, he really is. Look at how cute Rex is. Boca, <laughs> you can't, you can only touch him if he wants you to touch him. If he doesn't want you to touch him, forget it. Boca, you look <laughs> oh, yeah, no, he doesn't like that. He's like, I'm not a child. Oh my god, Boca. Don't like the camera. Look at Rexy. Look at Rexy. This kid doesn't do anything. Yeah, because he's like perfect. He's literally perfect. Rex, besito? Besito? No, watch, watch. Besito, Rex. Besito. Our dogs don't do anything on camera. You probably think we're like. Boca. I just bought some hunger. Boca. <laughs>